till now we have completed all the things related to cart we have inserted the cart items we have fetched product items and if we insert multiple items of same type in cart table we were getting the error okay that is we were getting the message product is already added to the cart now what we are going to do we are just going to display this messages in proper way i will remove this i'm just going to create one variable i will write here dollar symbol display message and inside this i'm just going to write product already added to cart i will copy the same thing i'm going to paste it here product added to cart two things i have displayed i will come down below this header i want to display those messages so i will be writing php i will be closing php and here i'm just going to check one condition if is set and inside this we are just going to pass our variable display message if this display message variable is set if our product is inserted to the cart or if the product is already added to the cart this variable will be set so when this variable is set what we have to do let me just write here echo instead of writing here first i'm just going to display it here so that we can get proper messages i will just write one class display message i will remove this one i am writing inside php i will remove this i will come outside php so that i will be getting proper colors here here i'm just going to write span tag inside the span tag i'm just going to display this variable i will copy this and here i'm just going to paste variable in the sense i'm just going to display that message then i just want to display the icon class i will just write here i and for this i'm just going to give the class as f a s f a times which will be giving me cross symbol and when i just click on this cross symbol i will be writing here on click event as soon as i click on this what should happen this dot parent for this message our parent is this one for this cross symbol our parent is this one so i'm just going to write parent element whenever i click on this cross symbol our parent element style style dot display whatever parent we are having we are just going to hide that one display is equal to none i will be writing in backticks display is none so basically what i have done i have just written one cross symbol using this fas font awesome and when i click on this this dot parent so this element's parent is diff so entire diff container should be hidden so i have just given the styling as none here i'm going to close this and i will be closing this i tag i this is the opening and this will be the closing tag and also here i have just opened this one and here i'm going to close this single quotes i will change the spelling to display message so this is our diff container inside this we are having span where we are going to display our message and this will be our cross symbol when i click on this this entire parent styling should be none now i will copy this i will just copy this entire thing inside this echo i'm just going to paste it here now i have already used double quotes so i'm just going to use single quotes here 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 that's it i will be using semicolon save this i will come here i will come to my project i will refresh this okay now i got the error unexpected identifier on line 46 here also we have to give single quotes single quotes as well as here save this i will refresh this one now inside this cart table 
we are having laptop headphone laptop earpods now what happens as soon as i click on add to cart i will be getting this warning array to string conversion on line 45 as well as here i am getting the message as array i do not want this message now when i click on this cross symbol that will go it is working fine but here i am having this warning which we have to fix i will come here so this we have created as array variable so this is our array variable now if i just remove this array variable i will just remove this i will show it to you i will come here i will refresh this one i will click on this add to cart now i am getting this message product already added to the cart and everything is working fine but whenever you are creating this variable using this array symbol i will come down here we just have to do one step inside this i am going to write for each for each i will be writing here for each syntax i will be creating one variable display message as i am just going to keep the same variable display message as display message i will open this and closing i am just going to do it here i will just close this if now i will save this i will come here i will refresh this one add to cart now you can see it is working completely fine product already added to the cart i will come here i am going to delete this laptop again i will come to cart again i am going to delete this laptop okay now i am not having laptop i will click on this laptop add to cart product added to the cart i will refresh this laptop will be added now you can see our message is inside our diff container so what we can do we can just copy this entire php cut it from here and inside this container we can just place that i will save this now i will refresh this one now when i click on this this message will be coming inside the container from next session dynamically we are going to display the number how many items are added to the cart and when i click on this when i click on this this page should be displayed where product price grand total total price everything should be displayed so what i will do i will come to cart table operations i'm just going to truncate the table now i'll refresh this come to cart table i do not have anything inside the cart i will refresh this this products are displayed because this products i have fetched from the products table not from the cart table i will just add laptop and keep now inside this cart table i am having only one laptop okay that's all for this session next session we are going to build on this dynamic part